Hello Error. My name is Vinay. Today I'm going to execute RFID feeding based on a web dashboard and which also reads the temperature of an employee. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, we're going to include five libraries. These lines include various libraries necessary for the project such as library for ESP8266, Wi-Fi, IC kind of communication and Adafruit MLX temperature sensor. Here you define the SSID and password for your Wi-Fi network. Replace this with your own Wi-Fi network credentials. You create an instance of ESP8266 web server class to handle HTTP request on port 80. A port 80 is a default HTTP port. And an instance of Adafruit MX Sorry, MLX90614. This is a uh, temperature sensor, one of the model class to work with, with the temperature sensor. You define a tag that you want to match against. This input array will store RFID data. Count helps in tracking the characteristics. Reads and flag will indicate if ma tag matches. The various variable are declared for later use. RFID reading will store RFID tag identity and Z will store temperature reading. This is an HTML template stored in pro program memory using PROGMEM. It defines the structure and style for web page that will display attendance data and temperature readings. I have removed all the cascading style because it makes the code still more complicated so not required for the due to it is in practice session that's why and handle root is a function that handles request to the root url it reads the html content from main page and sends send it to the client's web server This setup function you start serial communication for debugging and initialize the MLX90614 sensor which is a temperature sensor. You then attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi network using provided SSID and password. The while loop waits until ESP8266 successfully connects to the Wi-Fi network and print dot to the serial monitor during this process until and unless it connects to the ESP8266 module. Once ESP8266 successfully connects to Wi-Fi, it prints the network name and assigned IP address to this serial monitor. It then sets up two routers, routes for HTTP server. One root URL handled by handle root and another for reader URL by handled by reader the function. Finally, it starts HTTP server and prints a messaging confirming that web server has started. In loop function, the HTTP server continuously checks for incoming client request using server.handleClient. It also calls the reader function to process RFID data and sends response. A delay of one second is added to avoid excessive loop iterates. Il the code you provide is divided into several parts, including setting up the web browser, handling RFID data and displaying the data on a web page. Each part serves a specific purpose in the project. Connect USB cable to computer port and micro USB to not MCU. We are not going to apply code or upload code due to transmitter and receiver pin has been already connected. So now go to hotspot and copy the IP address. First, you need to be in your hotspot. And open your web browser and paste the IP address in the top of the search bar and click enter. Now you can see the dashboard, the employer name, the temperature, and the timing. When you tap the RFID tag, you can see the database is updated on the dashboard. Or web server. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू लाइक दीडियो प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू